Kept you waiting, huh? Hi guys, uh, my my most sincere and humble. Oh, you're all cockeyed. Sincere and humble apologies. Uh, it's been a while. This kind of feels confessional. It's been a while since I've uploaded anything, and it's been a while since I've done anything. Um, real life has gone and stuck its nose in my thing again. Um, basically, I'm helping my girlfriend move at the moment. Uh, we've just spent the last. What, two, three weeks packing everything up in her house, ready to go into the new house, which is finally, finally ready. So it's a complete <laughs> like that. Um, so basically, everything has ground to a halt, um, which means I've not actually seen this room for about three weeks, and I've just realised how, how, oh god, yeah, Ugh, like that and things. So I'm back here in Manchester literally for a couple of hours and getting your stuff sorted out before I go back in the meantime new things have arrived um, we've got an airbrush thinner which is this stuff which I've been wanting to try for a while and I am getting low on the X20A I've been told that this stuff will do the exact same thing as X20A as well as thin down all these other paints and Things like this, which is a painty paint rather than an airbrush paint. You can actually thin it down now for your airbrush. Uh, so with Tamiya, it'll work with Tamiya paints and it'll work with Revel Aqua Cut. Uh, yeah. But the good side of this is there's loads and loads of shades within these colours. Um, who else is there? Citadel paints. We'll be able to thin down Citadel paints as well and run them through an airbrush. Things like that. So at some point, I'll have a sit down and have a proper play with that and uh, we've got an airbrush cleaner as well these are highly recommended by Paul Bretland who works here or belongs here and sorry Paul I've forgotten you international scale modeler that was it uh, first met Paul well I first heard of Paul quite a while back uh, watching one of his videos I can't remember which one now but it went on to build a, a 32 scale this thing um, and it's absolutely fascinating series but he actually works with this lot as well and I'm not too sure if he's in correct me if I'm wrong Paul um, hopefully you will anyway uh, hopefully you see these so at some point I'll be testing those out properly on the bench at the moment we've still got the scout trooper and I'm simultaneously working on this huge, huge thing here, and it's all primed, and I've done no further at all with it, which is really annoying me. This has arrived whilst I've been away, so I'll be doing that at some point. But as you can see from, oh excuse me, I've just burped down your noodle. As you can see from the clutter, I definitely need to work, organise my workspace now. I've got a head start on it. I bought this thing. A while back uh, to hold on my Vallejo paints because I was fed up of going in there all the time so there to hand straight away it's a good enough stand it's made by ammo I can't quite get you over there to show you properly and don't want to move it because it's really fragile and it's put together with white glue and I shop with a company called scale model something or other. I'll and they sent me an email, as they do every now and then, and I've looked at these things. So I did, and I bought one on a corner stand like this, and I've wanted one of these for ages. Now the blurb on the website says it doesn't need glue, which I'm glad about, because that thing was an absolute nightmare to glue together. So this is genuinely, so I can whack it in a corner here, 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 somewhere. Hopefully, shift all this across a little bit and then oh, okay. works in my head. Again, these things always do. Until I actually do them, and I've got ah, it's not worked. Boxies, yay! Flat packs. Love flat packs. I used to work for B and Q. All the DIY stores are available. Uh, when I was a lot younger than I am now, 
and I've always been fascinated by flat packs and I can actually build them and guess where, they're... ooh it's modular ooh it's modular so you get a big flat piece like that and you can get these corner pieces and you can make that <laughs> giddy hands so uh, ooh, there'll be instructions there somewhere yeah I uh, used to work for B&Q a long time ago and awesome they give you the instructions for the it's that part we need and I've been building flat packs with my dad ever since I was a kid because my dad is a cabinet maker by trade a long, long time ago and I used to spend quite a lot of holidays when I wasn't playing soccer ball a lot of holidays helping him build things at the place he used to work at little screws how cool are that hopefully they'll just pop out yay Poppy pop, 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 pop. Be careful with those ones, boys and girls, because I can hear all kinds of splintering and cracking. Pie. I want cheesecake now. Cool. Little pie shapes. Well, um, that's, um, hockey dog. So, in true flat pack form, the instructions aren't very clear at all. can see right see so, um, do that and then do that and then do that with these things and it doesn't quite tell you oh now it does tiny little thing there do this yeah still I suppose it does beat a long list of multiple languages down the sides Makes sense to somebody somewhere. Okay. So you get one of these huge steppy things, and then you get multiple layers of oh, we get get off multiple layers of different sized jobbies. So going off the instructions, that's definitely the top. And then it looks like this huge thing is next, which steps down into this one, which then steps down into this teeny, 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 weeny little thing here. So, we shall go with the tiny one first. Oh, show the people what you're doing. Go out tiny one first. Steps into this one here. Which then steps up into this huge thing. Huge. Just goes at the back there. And I'm not even looking at the instructions at this point. literally is idiot proof and I know that because I'm an idiot Alrighty, and this is where you need about seven pairs of hands so we're basically lining all these little tabby things all these little tabby things with these holes on the sides so this one goes here yep you need seven pairs of hands I would definitely get a grown up to help you with this one, boys and girls. Right, let's get rid of you. Plonk you down there. Now you can do it either side. You know, so you can have brown showing on that side. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but for aesthetically pleasing other people, they shall only oh, line up. I'm still not looking at instructions. Oh, they different size holes. Mm. I think they are different size holes, you know. No, they're not. Oh, 
Oh, it's just a really tight fit, that's all. Ooh, that is a keen, keen fit. So I would err on caution here, because it is quite tight. Definitely wear your safety glasses. There we go. So it all literally just push push fits together. That's kind of cool. <gasps> I can hear humans outside my bedroom door. Oh, let's flip it around. Okay, like this. Sound effects help. The sound effects definitely help. Send me your videos of you going <laughs> as you put this together. And basically, there we go. One jar holder. Uh, what else can we put in there? I can't remember. Yeah. That's kind of cool. You got the these pigments. I'm not too sure if they're pigments or not, but just going a fi. <laughs> I like this. Uh, that's my big primer. Stick my big primer in there. Or you can swap it for oh, my new airbrush cleaners. By the look of it. Oh, just out. Never mind. Well, there, brush then a cleaner thing goes in. It's not too bad. Or we can get masking fluid. Yeah, masking fluid in. Or we can get the small primers in. Or where's my brushes? I get brushes. Brushes will go. So there we are. One paint stand. I'll throw the link in here. Here again, where I got this from. Um, I do know I had to try and order this a couple of times because it was out of stock, in stock, out of stock, out in stock, and all that kind of stuff. So keep your eyes open for that one. That will be a huge, huge help, uh, especially for somebody as badly organised as I am. You know, as you can see, it's just clutter everywhere. So when I'm working on a project now, I can literally. Oh, what that paint? That paint, that paint, that paint, that paint. Get everything organised in one space so it's not dotted about all over, as you can see. So that will definitely, definitely be a huge help. So, th I will, I'll get that right. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing my oddness and journey and things. Um, bear with me for a while. It's, like I say, it's all over the place like that at the moment uh, with helping my girlfriend move um, so it's going to be another couple of weeks yet before I can actually get back in here and carry on working on this stuff and this gouty bike and oh sorry the Master Chief and things um, it's just, oh, bloody Nora you tell I've been away I can't use my tripod anymore that's oh, not a tripod it's one of these things so yeah uh, bear with me Oh, we're doing that one again, are we? Um, and I will be back as soon as I can because I've got my own personal stuff that I still need to work on as well. And it's bugging me that I can't do anything. Uh, my girlfriend is a crafter herself. And she makes birthday cards and wedding cards and things like that for a living. And she's not been able to do anything for a while either. And it's really, really starting to annoy her too. Now then, I just realised, before we go, I've still got these things. And I didn't actually figure out what those were for. So I'll push out those plus things there. Get off. I'll quit looking at instructions. I think these are purely for aesthetic reasons, or are they connectors? They could well be connectors. 
doesn't actually say, it just says stick them here. But on the outside, they're not there. No. And they do go into fresh air. Oh, very odd. Try that again, so you might as well just clip in. Come down here, and look, it's, it's fresh air, there's nothing there. And there's nothing there either. So I think these are connectors, that's of some description. A wheel. Odd. Let's go the way around. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Put the short side in. You silly bloke. Hmm. Oh, very odd. Yes. Ooh! Also, I forgot to mention this. Um, pop along and watch this fella here. I'll put a link in the description as well so you can click on it and go off and watch him. My friend Adam is a paramedic in Georgia. Atlanta, I think it is. Uh, or Atlanta, Georgia, whichever way around it is. I never could quite figure those things out. He's scratch building a TARDIS at the moment and I'm doing the editing job for him because he doesn't quite know how to do that kind of thing and I do so I'm helping him out with the editing side of things I get to see what's going on way before you guys do and I tell you what this build is just mind-blowing and it is something I'm gonna to have to try uh, I cannot scratch build to save my life he's using balsa wood to do it and he's just oh it's amazing it really is watching him work but he's also quite I don't know, what's, what's the way of putting this without offending him? Um, he's like me, he's you know, he's all things and thumbs. And he's still making it look absolutely amazing. So pop by and watch Adam's videos. You'll find him under Enigma Modeling something or other. Sorry Adam, I've, my memory, Swiss cheese. I want cheesecake. Uh, yes, so um, there we go. 17 minutes worth of nonsense as usual. Uh, thanks for watching. I shall see you when I finish moving. Okay. That's it. I'm going. I've got coffee somewhere. Bye. Who's the more foolish? The fool or the fool who follows him?